I'm a geography teacher. We'll be handling geography for senior school one. And here are the things for this study. We have introduction to geography, local geography, the earth and the solar system, environment and its resources, regional geography of Nigeria, map reading and interpretation. We also have economic geography and human geography. And finally, we have introductory geographic information system, that's the GIS. Now, these themes are according to the NEC curriculum. Now, what is geography? Geography is derived from two Greek words. Geo, meaning the earth, and graphy, meaning description. So literally, if you put these two words together, we have the word geography, which means description of the earth. Now, in a broader sense, geography involves the study of the surface of the earth and the processes that shape the earth. The connection between man, the places where he lives, and how he relates with his immediate environment. Now, why is it important for me to study geography? One, to understand the environment and the problems that are associated with it. Two, to know more about each other and our cultures. As a Nigerian now, with the help of geography, I can understand the cultures in Nigeria as well as the cultures of others in the other countries. Now, geography is also important in that it helps us to understand how we interact and depend on others as well as the environment. And also to solve environmental, political, economic, and social problems. It also helps to understand the composition of the earth and how we can tap these compositions or these materials for the benefit of man. And of course, geography also helps to make a career. And now we'll look at the potential geography careers that we have. One, urban planning and community development has to do with the planning of cities, towns, in such a way that it will aid free flow of activities within the environment. Cartography, which is the second geographic career we have on the list, has to do with producing or making of maps we have geology, which involves the study of rocks. We have aviation and military planner. A geography graduate will be so much needed in the aviation and military sector because of his skills, his um, knowledge about the earth, location of places, and the cardinal points, or the four cardinal points, major cardinal points that we have. GIS specialist. This also has to do with map production. Climatology has to do with the study of climates. Transport management. A geographer is also relevant in the transport industry or transport company, environmental management. Nowadays, we have so many environmental problems and issues plaguing the world. So, a geography or a geographer will be so relevant in environmental management such as pollution 
and the likes. Tourism development is another potential geographic area. Biogeography and ecology has to do with the study of the ecosystem. Environmental impact analyst. A geographer will be important or relevant in carrying out environmental impact assessment before the erection of principal structures to find out if these structures, if imposed or implemented, or if you like, constructed, will pose any severe danger on the environment. And we also have geomorphology. Geomorphology has to do with study of features, relief features of an environment, such as um, um, highlands and lowlands and what have you. Hydrology involves the study of water, both the surface water and the underground water. The description, the movement. Hydrology involves the study of surface and groundwater. It involves the study of the occurrence, the distribution and the chemistry of water. We, you are also entitled to becoming a researcher or a lecturer as a geography graduate. Now, local geography is the next on our topics. Local geography involves the study of the physical and sociocultural aspects of our immediate environment. Now, by the physical features of the environment, we are talking about the relief, the vegetation, the climate, drainage, and mountains that make up the environment. The sociocultural features here are features like the schools, the churches, the mosque, market roads, settlements, etc. Now, let's look at the village. A village is a small, nucleated rural settlement that is formed by a combination of several hamlets. Now, the following are characteristics of a village. It's relatively small and composed with homogeneous people. By homogeneous people, we mean people of the same culture, language, and um, similar lifestyle. It has people with the same cultural background and language. The village also consists of few buildings and the occupation or occupation that's commonly found in the village are occupations like farming, fishing and laundering. The village has little or no social amenities. We talk about social amenities, about things like um, electricity, good roads, hospitals, etc. Now, functions of the village. In as much as the village is devoid of these amenities, there are many basic functions which they play that helps even the rural, sorry, the urban areas. And these are agricultural functions which involve the production or provision of food for consumption, lumbering activities, the provision of timbers, plants, and plywoods which aid in construction purposes. And also fishing activities take place in the village. Small scale shopping, religious activities are more or other forms and functions that we have in the village. Now, the town. A town is a large nucleated urban settlement which has the following characteristics. One, the town is relatively large with socially heterogeneous people people from diverse backgrounds, 
and languages come together to make a town. A town is neglected. By neglected, you mean the densely populated. A town consists of people with different cultural backgrounds and languages. As a contrast to the village, a town consists of many buildings and abundance of social amenities. Town involves secondary and tertiary activities like manufacturing, construction, and other service-oriented jobs. Now, functions of a town. The following are the functions of the town. Industrial function, which involve manufacturing of finished products. Commercial functions, which involves banking and trading activities. You also have sociocultural functions. Universities, hotels, churches, television stations, etc. are established 